Hello. I think I've got a ghost. It's not the first time. Uh, I'm going to tell you about it. Every morning at about 2.45, I wake up. And I'm sure there's something there. But I'm not sure what it is. Then I think I've dropped something, and I haven't, and... I go back to sleep. And I wake up a little bit more, a little bit more tired every day. Anyway, as I say, it's not the first time. I remember I went back to visit my old home a few years ago, some years ago actually, um, and my old home had been bought by a lady uh, whose husband had just died. And uh, when I went into the home, I was astonished because nothing had changed. It was the same colour. Everything was exactly the same. I've been back since, and everything has changed completely. But this was back in the middle of the 1990s. And I remember this vividly. The, the, the lady who had bought the house, uh, she'd bought it from my mother and father. And, as I say, she'd... Her husband had just died, and she was very interested in the supernatural. She'd got lots of audio tapes of the sounds of the ghosts in the house. And she was uh, telling me that the man who had built the house walked up and down the main staircase, and I thought, ooh, that's interesting, because I remember how much the main staircase used to squeak at night. And then she said, uh, and your mother's been here. Um, I was sitting by the Argo one evening and I felt this slight breeze and I said, who's there? And the voice came, it's your mother, it's Mary. And I said, oh, is that Mary Wilson? And she said, yes. Where am I? You're in Riverdale, dear. Oh, good. And she stayed a few weeks, and then we moved her on. She's very happy now. And it was a very strange sensation to be told that. Then we went upstairs, and she said, and that's the nursery, of course. Um, when, I, when I bought the house uh, and I visited, you and your brother had just moved into your own bedrooms, so the nursery, I think, was was uh, unoccupied. The nurse was haunted. And uh, she then went on to, on to say that, uh, that there was a, um, uh, that there was a small girl who haunted that nursery. And I said, uh, oh, when I, when I was a small boy, I used to have an imaginary friend. And she wanted to know who the imaginary friend was and what she looked like. I explained she had blonde hair and wore a green dress. Oh yes, that's the that's the little girl who died in that room. She was the daughter of the man who owned the house. Very spooky. Anyway, there are more. There are more. Um but uh but but at the moment, at the moment I'm quite convinced that uh, something is waking me up early in the morning. I'd love to know. I'd love to. I, I, I'm not sure I entirely believe in ghosts. I think I believe that it is possible for a personality to be left behind. Large personalities maybe sort of eat into the wall and the fabric of a building and are remembered. Maybe that is a ghost. I don't know. Anyway, I'd love to know what you think. Are ghosts real? Do you have experience of ghosts? Ooh.